I'm up about 5, 5.30. So every morning starts with a run. And that's because that's the one thing I hate to do more than anything in the world. That's like my cup of coffee. And I'm all about armoring yourself. The second you leave your house and the second you open your phone, the second you do any of that, you are now letting in poison and cancer. So as I get up, I start to armor plate my mind and body. Like a person's going to war, you put your body armor on. That's what I'm doing on that run. I'm waking up and I'm giving myself all this armor. So when I come out in the world, and I look at that phone, I'm ready. I'm not waking up late. I'm not rushing around. I'm not disorganized because I know I'm going to get hit in the mouth. There's an art to getting hit in the mouth. That is why these things are important. You have to wake up and you have to give yourself a you have to give yourself confidence. I believe that you have to build belief. Belief is like, there's an after school special belief where the mom says, believe in yourself, and that's all great, but there's also a built belief. And the built belief is one where you are constantly, like for me, I came from a bad place. How I build belief is through the, the daunting tasks I put myself through. So that's proof positive that I can. So it correlates. And that's how this piece of shit kid that I once thought I was built belief by saying, hmm, I was in three hell weeks. I went to ranger school. I tried out for Delta Selection. That is proof, motherfucker. So whenever you think, whenever you think you can't, confidence comes from the thing that you built. You must build belief. You must build confidence. A lot of people sit back and they dream about being a sports figure or dream about being a SEAL or dream about being an astronaut. And all it is is a motherfucking dream. They don't put the work behind the dream. That dream has become their fucking master. When you become the master of your fucking dream is when you say, I want to go be a Navy SEAL. You say, okay, I'm going to lose 106 pounds in less than three fucking months. The dream was the one thing I thought about and the dream was now gone. Now, what comes in, the dream goes away and the fucking laundry list of fucking details and tasks come up. Gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this. That's when you become the master of your dream. Feels good to talk about that shit, man. It actually makes you feel good, makes you feel proud, all that shit. But guess what happens when that alarm clock goes off at 4 a.m. to train? I don't want to be a SEAL today. Or I don't want to be whatever today. I'll start tomorrow. And that's the usual pattern of people's lives. That's why I talk about clearing out the mind. Until you really want to do something, you're always going to be a talker. You're always going to run your fucking mouth. It's the second you run of the day. Come on, nine degrees. But y'all don't care about that shit. My fucking legs are fucking dying right now. That be shit. But y'all don't care about that shit. My toenails bobbing my feet. Y'all don't care about that shit. Well, check this out. Neither do I. That's why I'm out here every fucking day doing this shit. Because my feelings, I don't give a fuck about them. They hard. Sometimes people try to motivate themselves. When times get bad, get hard and shit. Talk about life gives you limits. Make lemonade. Fuck all that shit. When life gives me motherfucking limits, I eat the motherfucking limit. Stay hard.